Welcome and welcome to this, as Rita was saying, the 10th in the 21st Century Challenges um, series. You mentioned, Rita the, Rita, the Future of Food series, and some of you may have seen it, and I think some of what we did there is perhaps a reason I'm sitting here chairing this uh, meeting today. Uh, one of the things we did, the programs were about food security and looking into food security till 2050, and one of the things we looked at were the implications of water scarcity and what that might um, mean for food security. Now, when you're making a film, when you're out there on the road, the trick is not to be telling your audience anything, you know, not preaching to them, but rather to be showing them things. And you know when you've achieved that. And for us, that moment came. There were several uh, trips around the world. And that moment for us came when we were in Kenya. And I was walking through uh, 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 with a Maasai herdsman through his land. Um, and talking about what three years, or perhaps this was the fourth year, of drought had done to his life and to his stock. He'd had hundreds of cattle. George Alagia, one of the BBC's longest serving and most respected journalists, has died at the age of 67, nine years after being diagnosed with cancer. A statement from his agent said he died peacefully today, surrounded by his family and loved ones. A fixture on British TV news for more than three decades, he presented the BBC News at six for the past 20 years. Before that, he was an award-winning foreign correspondent reporting from countries ranging from Rwanda to Iraq. He was diagnosed with a stage 4 bowel cancer in 2014 and revealed in October 2022 that it had spread further. Paying tribute, his agent said George was deeply loved by everybody who knew him, whether it was a friend, a colleague, or a member of the public. He simply was a wonderful human being. My thoughts are with Fran, the boys, and his wider family, she said. Alagia died earlier on Monday, but fought until the bitter end, his agent added. BBC Director General Tim Davies said across the BBC, we are all incredibly sad to hear the news about George. We are thinking of his family at this time. He was more than just an outstanding journalist. Audiences could sense his kindness, empathy, and wonderful humanity. He was loved by all and 